Hello and welcome to Science Be Honest channel. Today we're going to do a very quick tutorial using only two ingredients. That is water and Hungry Jack Extra Light and Fluffy Pancake Mints. Have you ever wanted to have your pancakes look exactly like it is on the box? Well, I'm going to show you how to achieve this look. Normally, I tell you to cover your hair before getting started, and as you can see, I have on gloves. We're not going to do that today because today I'm going to wear gloves because these are clean, fresh, uh, new gloves. I'm going to wear these because I've been doing a lot of yard work outside and some things within the house as well. And first, my hair, I just took down some extension, so I'm allowing my hair to breathe just a little bit before applying um, some more extension. So, let's get started. Okay, these are the things that you're going to need. The first thing you're going to need is a bowl. We're going to pour. We're going to start out. Okay, on the back of here, they have measurements. We're going to discard those. We're not going to even go with their measurements. In order to achieve this look, we're not going to use their measurements. So what we're going to do, we're going to start out always with at least a cup of any dry season, any type of flour, anything you want to use. You're going to use it in small increments because you're just getting started. Okay. I'm going to use this measuring cup. This is a half a cup. I'm going to do two cups of this pancake mix in here. Open it. Okay, that's a half a cup. I'm going to place that in the bowl. I'm going to fill it up again. And that's another half. That's all we need. We're just going to make a few so I can show you how it's going to turn out. Okay. And here I actually have a cup and a half of water. We're not going to use all this water. What we're going to do, we're going to use the same measuring cup. Let's start off with a half. That's not going to be enough. So we're going to pour some more and make it equal parts to whatever the, the dry uh, mix is which I use a cup of dry mix from the Hunger Jack Complete um, Extra Light and Fluffy Pancake Mix. We're gonna use one cup of water. I'm gonna take my spoon. If you have any type of mixing device, you can do that in there. But for those who don't have it, I want to do it this simple way. We're gonna mix that up together. So I'll mix it by hand until it becomes very smooth. Now you may say, Sonya, this is a little bit soupy. That's how you want it. Okay, that's that's real creamy and smooth. I took, um, I actually changed from a spoon to a fork so I can make sure all the knots and everything is out of it. But as you can see, that is real soupy. And that's how you want it. Okay, next thing we're going to do, we're going to go over to the stove. I'm going to take this mix over to the stove. Okay, the kind of skillet that I'm going to use to prepare these pancakes is going to be a non-stick skillet. It is very important at least one of your pans be non-stick within your home. It makes it a little bit easier to cook, but if you don't have a non-stick skillet, you will use like a um, tablespoon of margarine to coat the pan first before actually pouring your, your mix batter. So what I'm gonna do, since I have a gas stove, I'm gonna turn it on to the number three and a half, between three and four. I'm gonna let that sit there probably for about a good 45 seconds so it can go ahead and get hot. As you can see, I'm not gonna coat this pan with anything because it's a nonstick and I want it to serve the purpose in order for my pancakes to appear as it does on the box. Remember, we only use one cup of the pancake mix and equal parts to that, we use one cup of water and we mixed it very fine until all the lumps was out of the pancake mix. And we're going to wait about 45 seconds for this skillet to heat up. So know if your skillet is ready, we said we're going to sit it on the stove for about 45 seconds to so know it's ready. Get a spoon with some water and you're going to pour it inside the skillet. Okay, it's beginning to bubble. It's almost ready. It's almost ready. Once that dissolves, we're going to go ahead and pour a little bit of our mixture inside of the skillet. This is what you can do. If you feel uncomfortable pouring this directly from the bowl, remember the measuring cup that we had, the half a cup measuring cup? You can actually dip it inside of here. 
and pour it inside in the center. I always pour it from the center because it's going to actually spread. We're going to leave that there. As you can see, it's beginning to cook. To know that you're ready to actually flip your pancakes, you're going to see little specks of bubbles all on top. And once you see a lot of bubbles on top, that's when we're going to flip it. Okay, let's go ahead and insert that spatula. You always want to go from your edge and work your way into the middle, and then you're going to flip it. We're going to allow it probably about another 15, 20 seconds to cook on the opposite side because it has almost cooked fully from one side with the bubbles forming underneath. Okay, let's go ahead and take that out of the skillet because it's ready. So there you have it. Pancakes made from a Hungry Jack Complete Extra Light and Fluffy Pancake Mix. I hope you have enjoyed the time we've shared together in making this very simple tutorial. Pancakes from the Hungry Jack Complete Extra Light and Fluffy Pancake Mix. Until next time, be blessed.